guys, Retro Gamer Steve back with another video. Um, tonight I'm just going to do uh, a pretty quick pickups video, stuff I've gotten over the last week or so. Um, but before I get started, um, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave some comments, that'd be great. Also, uh, I got two buddies, um, you should check out their pages. One of them is Contagious Collection. Uh, his name is Sam, he's got some really cool pickups. Um, finds a lot of great items, really fun games for some awesome prices. And then um, another video to go check out, <clears throat> excuse me, is Transformers and Video Games. <clears throat> and this guy also finds a lot of great deals on video games, um, Transformer figures, uh, toys from, you know, some of the toys from the 80s and stuff like that. So definitely go check those guys out. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first of all, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, I got a dry throat. I got three of the Jax figures. Um, I got Spiky, or Spiny, sorry. And then I got Fire Mario. And then I also got Toothy, or Cappy. Um, in one of my previous videos, I showed you that I also got Piranha Plant and Mario. So I actually have all five of these characters now. Um, I have them all sitting up together on a shelf. Um, these things are really cute. Uh, they just kind of set off the collection. And I like getting little things like this. Uh, not just video games, but also figures and, and collectibles and stuff like that. So those are the three Jax figures that I picked up. Now we'll get into some games. Uh, for the original Xbox, I picked up Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection. Um, I love pinball games. My girlfriend loves pinball games. Um, I actually have a pinball machine myself. Um, a 1978 Gorgar pinball. Um, Williams machine. It's the first talking pinball machine ever made. Um, I love it. Needs a little bit of work done to it to get it back up and running properly, but it's a, an awesome machine. So I love pinball machines, pinball games. This one has seven tables. Uh, I've had some other games in the past that had upwards of 20 or 25 tables. Um, but uh, this one seems like a lot of fun. I think I paid uh, three bucks, maybe four bucks for this the other day. Um, so couldn't really pass that up. So here's Pinball Hall of Fame for the original Xbox. Then moving on to the Xbox 360, I picked up Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise. Um, this is the sequel to Viva Pinata. Uh, I actually played through Viva Pinata years ago. Um, loved it, great game, a lot of fun. Um, this one I got when it first came out. Uh, I played, I, I wanna say I got about halfway through this so I never completed this. Um, however, I wanna get back into this and play through. Um, you basically raise baby pinata creatures that you um, feed and grow. Um, and then as they grow, you can merge them um, with other pinatas uh, and create all new pinatas, which is pretty cool. Um, this one's complete. And it's got everything it needs here. Uh, but this game is a lot of fun. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed playing through the first one. So there's Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise. Also, real quick, Pinball is complete. Keeping on with the 360 theme, um, 
got Gears of War, the original. Um, loved Gears. I played, I think I played the first three Gears, and then that's about when I fell off of gaming for a couple of years. So I never played four and five. Um, but uh, I absolutely loved one through three. Um, I am excited to actually start playing through this again. I haven't played this since it originally came out. So, it's also complete. Gears of War. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, another thing that my girlfriend is really into is RPGs. Um, I play them sometimes, but they're just so time consuming. I don't get into them as much as I used to. Um, but she loved Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, saw this for a really good deal. I think I paid $3 or $4 for this. I think I paid 3 or $4 for Gears of War. So um, not a bad deal. This one does not have the manual, but it does have both discs. So that's good. So there is Dragon Age Inquisition. Then my last 360 game is a, a really cool game. Um, I love vertical shoot 'em ups and horizontal shoot 'em ups. This is Raiden Fighters Aces for the Xbox 360. Um, this game is a ton of fun. It actually has three different Raiden games on it. It's got Raiden Fighters, Raiden Fighters 2, and Raiden Fighters Jet. Um, vertical shoot 'em up. This game is a ton of fun, really pretty, tons of action on the screen. Um, and this is a, another series that my girlfriend absolutely loves. She loves a good shoot 'em up. Um, this one is complete. I paid, uh, let's see, what did I pay for this? 35 or $40 for this. Um, which is a great price. This game is going for 75 and up. Um, but this game is a ton of fun. I love Raiden games. I love R-Type and I love Raiden. So I highly recommend maybe not necessarily picking this one up. It's a little pricey. Um, but any Raiden game you can find for cheap if you like a good shoot 'em up you can't go wrong with Raiden and R-Type. So that was my last 360 game. Keeping with the Xbox theme, I uh, got a um, couple Xbox One games. I got Homefront, The Revolution. Um, I think I paid four bucks for this one. Um, this is the sequel to Homefront. Um, a short game, but really well done. Pretty game. <clears throat> Takes place in a dystopian future, which is uh, 10 years from now. It's always funny when we catch up to video games, um, the timelines of video games. Um, but this is basically, we've been attacked on our own soil and um, we have to fight uh, to keep our home front. So, um, haven't yet played this, um, but I'm excited to get into it probably here in the next few weeks. I got a lot of things coming up, so I'll eventually check it out. But, um, but yeah, Homefront the Revolution for the Xbox One. And then I got Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes Tactical Espionage Operations for the Xbox One. Oh, let me, uh. Okay, so no manual on the home front. This one is complete. Let's have the manual in there. Of course, you can't go wrong with a Metal Gear game. Um, I've not played this one yet, although it's pretty funny that I was just talking about Raiden the game, and you can actually play as Raiden the character. Um, so as I get into this later on, I'll let you guys know how it is. 
if any of you guys have played this game, feel free to leave me a message and let me know if it's worth playing. But again, I paid four, I think four dollars for this. So I couldn't complain. And I love Metal Gear games. So there's Metal Gear Solid 5. And that ends my Xbox pickups. Then I got a couple DS games. I got Dual Quest Expeditions. Um, my girlfriend also loves puzzle games, as do I. These are always fun to play. And cannot get this one open. Jeez. There we go. This one is complete. If I can get the game in the case here. Just your average puzzle game, but a lot of fun. We love playing games like this, especially together. So there's Jewel Quest. And then for the DS also, we've got M&M's Break'em. This is another puzzle game. It is complete. We love Peanut M&M's, um, plus a good puzzle game. And this is really cute. It's a lot of fun. Um, so couldn't pass this up. I think I paid two bucks and two bucks. So for four dollars, I got two great puzzle games for the DS. Uh, I always like adding to the DS collection, just like every other collection I have, which is sometimes too many to keep up with. So there's the two games I picked up for the DS. And speaking of DS, I picked up another DS, uh, DSi. This is a white version. This thing is in mint shape. Only one problem is that it came with a black stylus instead of the original white. So I'm going to have to keep my eyes open for the proper stylus that goes with this. Um... can't get my fingers in there, but check if there's an SD card. It's always hard to find white handhelds that are in nice shape. They show dirt so bad. But this thing is really clean. As you can see, it's just a few stylus marks on the bottom screen, but has not been really played all that much. Top screen is minty. And just a really pretty DS, or sorry, DSi. So I couldn't pass that up. And I think I paid 40 for this, which I don't mind paying normal price for a handheld if it's in really nice shape. So, and I love having different colors of different handhelds. So I'm glad to have this in the collection. Now I picked up a few Wii games. I got Real Heroes Firefighter for the Wii. Um, have not played this yet. Uh, this game looks really fun though. Case has uh, seen some better days, but I got this for I think three or four bucks. Um, but you basically go through a first-person story um, where you are first-person action putting out fires. And um, looks like a lot of fun, actually. I've never played a game quite like this, so I'm excited to get into this and check it out. It is complete. So there is real... Real Heroes Firefighter. And then I also picked up Super Mario Galaxy. Everybody knows this game. Beautiful game, a lot of fun. No manual for this one, so I will keep my eyes out for it. 
but either way, I'm glad to have this in my weed collection. And then the last Wii game I picked up is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Um, unfortunately, this one does have the manual, it does have the game, but it does not have the music CD. So I will have to keep my eyes out for that. Although I do have the uh, Wii remote that goes to this game. And I have the stand for it from Rose Colored Gaming. Can't go wrong with a great Zelda game. And uh, have not gotten into this game yet. I've never actually played it. But I'm happy to own it. And I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. I love Zelda. I love all of Zelda's games. So eventually when I get the time... Um, I will dig into this game, um, so I'm excited for that. So those are the three Wii games that I recently picked up. I picked up one PlayStation 2 game, um, another Raiden game. Uh, this is Raiden 3, The Legendary Shooter Returns. This is complete. This game is a ton of fun. Um, my girlfriend and I have already put a few hours into this since I picked it up. A great vertical shoot 'em up game. Sometimes there's so much action going on on the screen, you can't tell where your character is, and um, it's just utter chaos with all the stuff going on. But this is a fantastic game. Glad to have this. Love getting Raiden games. Picked up one Wii U game. I got Mighty Number no. 9. This was a Kickstarter game, or um, uh, I'm having a brain fart, so I can't remember exactly. It was something like a Kickstarter type game. Uh, it's a Mega Man style game. Um, I love the Wii U. Uh, I haven't yet gotten into this. Um, I'll probably start playing this sometime in the next week or two to, to check it out. Uh, however, it is complete. It's got the disc. It's got the art book. It's got the poster and the manual. So it's got everything with it. So there is Mighty Number no. 9. I think I paid 10 bucks for this, but it's in really nice shape and like I said, it's complete. So if I can get a Wii U game for 10 bucks in nice shape, I'll do it all day long. Then I got Gumpei for the Wonder Swan. Um, I love these little boxes. This is complete. I'm not gonna bother opening the box to pull everything out. But this is basically a black and white puzzle game for the black and white Wonder Swan. Um, I played this last night for about an hour. Uh, it's a really fun but really tough game. Uh, I still cannot get past uh, stage three. Um, but um, I'm excited to dig into this more. Um, and I'm probably going to get a second copy so that my girlfriend and I can play one against, you know, play against each other. Um, looks like a lot of fun. So I'm excited to add yet another Wonder Swan game to my collection and another fun puzzle game. So that is Gumpei for the Wonder Swan. I got a few PlayStation Vita games I got Reality Fighters. This is a factory sealed copy. This is basically just a fighting game, um, but it's augmented reality fighting. You can create your own character. Um, basically hold your phone up in front of 
whatever and you've got characters fighting or not your phone but hold your vita up and whatever the camera is facing is going to be the background for your fighting arena or i guess you can use um regular backgrounds but uh another vita game another sealed copy always great to add uh, i got army core of hell this is another factory sealed game by square enix hell is your battleground uh, this basically sounds to me to be a bit like the game overlord and overlord 2 where you are commanding an army of minions to crush your opponents. Sounds like a lot of fun. I'll have to find a loose copy because I do not open my sealed copies, but uh, glad to have added this. And then the best game that I got in the last week is Skullgirls Second Encore for the Vita. This is a limited run game, as you can see right there. Um, this is a 2D hand animated action fighting game, and it is beautiful. Uh, 12 characters, um, two or three of them are males, the rest are all females. Um, I've played this for about two hours so far. I still haven't used all the different characters, but this game is beautiful. It's a ton of fun. It is a great, well put together fighting game. Um, I really enjoy the animations, the music, the backgrounds are gorgeous. It's just a, just a fun all-around game. Um, this one is complete. It came with the Skullgirls card. It came with a panel that's supposed to look like... Um, stained glass which is pretty cool. And then it came with the soundtrack, which is still sealed. The game has been opened. Obviously, I've been playing it. Um, it came opened. So I'm, I'm actually kind of glad that it wasn't sealed because I really wanted to play this. But I'm glad that the uh, soundtrack is still sealed. The sweet selection of Skullgirl sounds. So these are all the things that came with Skullgirls. And uh, another great limited runs title. So I'm glad to, uh, to have that. So that's my PlayStation Vita collection. And I just got a few more items here. I got uh, two PlayStation memory cards. I got the red Magic Gate Sony PlayStation 2 memory card. And then I got the more elusive clear. It's not blue, it's like a gray clearish color. Um, it's supposed to be one of the harder colors to find for a memory card, but this is the an authentic PlayStation 2 Sony memory card. <clears throat> so I got the red and the see-through gray. And then my last two items, I picked up two more Nintendo Power magazines. This is number 123 here, and this is number 101. So I now have, I think that takes me up to 17 Nintendo Powers. <clears throat> um, these both have their fold-outs. I love Nintendo Power. I love being able to flip through, reading um, in-depth reviews and and just seeing all the things that these have to offer for the specific games of that era. Um, they're just really cool to flip through and read. Um, so as I get the chance to collect more and more of these, I will be picking more up and eventually uh, someday would like to have a full set of Nintendo Power magazines on display and have them uh, readily available to read 
and pick up and look through in the game room. So I'm glad to have added these to my collection also. So that's it guys. That's the uh, latest stuff I picked up in the last week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, again, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, leave me some comments, guys. And then again, like I said, if you wanted to check out a couple other really cool channels, um, Contagious Collection, and then um, Transformers and Video Games. Those two channels are really cool. Lots of cool stuff. Really done, uh, really well done videos. Two really cool guys, really nice guys uh, that have some really great channels. So you guys should definitely check them out. Give them some love. Um, other than that, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon.